most difficult part of exploring is to stay on the ball. It's sometimes frustrating. You don't find nothing. The fifth time, the sixth time, find a little gap where you didn't look at before, you go through and it opens up again. During my explorations, I found something which took my breath away. And that might change history of exploration here in this area. This cave entrance here is the Yap Yum sinkhole. It's connected to El Puente, which is a system it's located right in between the Sacatun cave system, which is the second largest cave in the world, and Dos Ojos cave system, which is the third biggest cave in the world. This discovery we made actually in a project which we had formed called Vanilla Sky. It's a project I do with my friend Toddy Welded. Our goal was to bring people which haven't been exploring yet to exploration and raise awareness. And in the long run, we want to have this cave's formations protected at some point. Dante and I, we are Dive Buddies and uh, colleagues. I met him as, as a student, uh, very enthusiastic on, on underwater archaeology. It was a dream to be an archaeologist. It's a very huge opportunity to be part of this team, because I know this is a privilege. Uh, we have made a great team, and we've had great discoveries. Originally, we found this place during the Vanilla Sky project. We split up. We go in different directions. This cave we entered is pretty small cave. And then suddenly we get to this gate. But when we went through that gate, everything disappeared. No more floor. No more walls. And behind it, it was just pitch black. It's insane. We realized this is a huge sinkhole. This place is resting. And when we looked up, we could see like one little star out there in the dark sky. And we went towards an opening, like a cylinder going straight up to our atmosphere. When we spit the regulators out, everyone was just like, wow. I was screaming around. <laughs> we go over to the other cenote where Toddy was diving. Pretty sure he found something spectacular. I saw on his arms all the goosebumps. And I said, oh man, something happened, right? And he said, Toddy, yes. So you prepare your rebrief. And I know from that moment on, he found the sinkhole. So the first impression I had, it was like, wow, because I could see the shape and the size of the place, so I was amazed. This 
sensation to be there is like being in outer space. That was mind blowing. It looks so cool. It was something very, very unique. beautiful cave I've seen in my life. We wanted to see, is there deep passage down there to connect the three biggest underground rivers together? So I start to descend deeper down. It feels like endless going on. But just going a little bit in horizontal and then pinches off, it stops right there. It's a shame because if there's two caves would connect there, it would be one huge step of my goal connecting these three caves together. When you get to a certain point, like 50 meters, you start seeing huge stalagmites, which only speaks about how ancient this cave is. It's amazing. Going down there is like, wow. It's amazing to see these formations and think about when they were formed. Place yourself walking on the bottom of this gigantic cave. Since you look up and you see huge stalagmites. Some of them 20 meters high. Time of to, for these formations to grow like that. It must have taken thousands of years. That speaks about the oldest cave in the area. Part of the cave, that's the 90 meter. Yeah. So when you swim that, roughly, I think 48, 50 meters, something like that, check ab above the rocks, you have the other bones of the animal. Above the rocks. Above the rocks, okay. there are some some bones. Okay. Fro I guess from this beer or whatever the, okay, it is. Okay. And under the rock, you is have the, the skull. Okay. 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 So you will see previously you see clear. Oh, there's something which we we could could pass through. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you will see. Oh wow! It's there. What we could see at the bottom of this sinkhole, it's an interesting array of different animal species. We have slates, taxonomy with pictures, and then we have on the same slate, we have a compass and we have a ruler. A long time ago here, there were bears. The bones we found 
are at least 10 to 15,000 years old. It's a unique discovery. This is an important discovery, geology-wise, even biology, water level-wise. I could see those clear marks on the walls, all the history yeah. there, and of course, archaeology. This treasure, this 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 yeah. place, we uh, have to study very carefully okay. and, and protect yeah. it, of course. And protect it, of course. That's, Absolutely. that's important too. Oh, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Exploring itself shows us that this here is a mecca for science. Big goal for Toddy, Guillermo, Dante, and me is raise the awareness and get these caves, the beauty, the formations, the water, archaeology protected. Oh, wow. Most people in the world don't have an idea that we have a planet inside this planet, which is down there. I'm walking in the same place that the Maya was walking what happened in this place. Just knowing there's a place no other human had seen before makes me totally want to go there and see what does it look like. The next thing I would like to do from Yap Yum is to find where is the water coming from. And there should be a continuation of the cave on the other side of this huge room, and that's what I would like to find. And I'm not going to stop till these caves are connected. was apparent we were not trained to dive and they were not trained to shoot. This was next level exploration. Just another day in the office. 